What's up guys? Welcome back to your channel. This is Maverick here with Motor Gallery Mondays and today we kick off the second season of the series. Uh, it took me a while to get all this figured out, especially since there's lots of different naming conventions and all that, but I think I finally got this down pat. Apparently uh, the later arcs or, or novels, if you will, light novels, they were all scattered together into one single season, one single series, and it should, um, well, this should be coming directly after uh, Nekomonogatari Kuro with the beginning of the Nekomonogatari Shiro arcs, which means that we're probably going to be continuing with Hanakawa's story, right? Uh, in any case, I don't really think there's too much else to introduce here, especially since all the cast and staff and production, it's all the same, right? And of course, if there's any new friends here who um, you know might have stumbled upon this video by chance, I welcome you to go all the way back to the beginning of Bakumonogatari and see my videos from there. Right? I am doing all of these in the light novel order. Uh, beyond that, one other thing to note is that uh, per, per your guys' suggestions, I am using the Cold Girl sub, so not not the official subs, but it seems to be the preferred uh, subtitles for most people, so we'll roll with that. In any case, let's just jump right into it. Alright, let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. So is this like before, after, or during the events of Nekomonogatari Kuro? Tiger. Oh yeah, she's sleeping. Yeah. Twenty <laughs> first of August. Oh, hold on. Is that plot? Chocolates? Uh twenty first of August? This is... Oh, I mean, she cut her hair, so obviously this is after. Never mind. <laughs> really flaunting off her assets, hey. Well, this is certainly a stark contrast to her opening theme in uh, Nekomonogatari Kuro. Although I guess to be fair, the events of what's happening right now, it's like what, three months after the events of, um, of Kuro? Passa Tiger.
So did she also make breakfast for her parents? Hmm, it's my yogi. Wait a minute, I, I actually kind of forgot. Has she, have these two ever interacted with each other before? <laughs> it's so hard to remember these kinds of things. Your backpack? Wait, August 21st. Is this, uh... Let me think about it. All night. Is this when he was kidnapped by Sendragahara? Well, kidnapped. the fourth wall, as always. Tiger. <laughs> no white tiger at that? So now she's going to have both a cat and a tiger inside her or something like that? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh no, wait. That's... Sinja Gahara cut her hair also, so uh... Actually, this is after the events of um, Nisei. Completely after, I think. You shiver? That seems to be a shift in the power balance. I always thought that it was. Oh, 
it's out of consideration for you. I feel like I like skipped a season or something. Am I watching this correctly? Interesting angle here. <laughs> the relationship between these two it's so it's quite interesting in a way Seriously, gonna sleep on the streets? Well, the abandoned. Uh... <laughs> you don't say. Well, I guess that's some sort of meta reference to say they didn't adapt the chapter, something like that. Probably going to sleep at Homakawa's place. What is the relationship between these two? I am so confused. Did I really skip a season or something? Well, no, actually, okay. Never mind, because they actually did touch on their relationship before, right? They had a pretty peculiar relationship with each other.
these two have a very interesting relationship. That's true, though. Like, an adult and girl. <laughs> Just staying outside. Staying at <laughs> Sanjigahara. Look at her bed hair. Ah, so cute. It's a homely place. I wonder if Hanukkah was somehow responsible for the fire, like maybe through some apparitions or whatnot. What am I watching right now? <laughs> shower together. <laughs> wow. It's been a while since uh, since I heard Sinjigahara's banter. Oh. 
want to know. Where could he be? Wait, what? I'm trying to remember what happened at the end of uh, at the end of Nice. Nothing much really happened, didn't there? That's what I was thinking. I think you might know deep down. Huh? <laughs> what the? relationship they have oh my god I mean I can't say that I'm not entertained it's definitely entertaining it's just really puzzling at the same time especially when nothing seems to be explained Since this is the first time we see the ending, we'll take a look at this. Well, let me go look up some timelines real fast, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, that was quite the interesting start to this season and this current arc. Uh, I went back and checked real quick the timelines of um, this series as well as Nisei, right? Because this is happening right after Nisei. So I think Nisei was supposed to end right on August 15th, whereas uh, this series is starting around August 21st, right? So about a week in the, in the middle. So uh, I think I'm still on the right track here, even though a lot of things seem to have happened that... Um, well, I'm just assuming that probably things happen within this week and we're going to be going through that timeline uh, in reverse yet again, right? As this series seems to very much like to do. Um, what else here? Well, I do rem I do kind of recall back in Nisei that uh, there was some foreshadowing of some problems with Mayoi. I'm not sure if that is related with Aragi's disappearance right now as, um, as Hanekawa was sort of hinting at. But I do kind of recall that um, 
you know, it left on a kind of ominous note, actually. I think it was like something of uh, the last time I saw Mayoi or, or something like that, um, if I'm remembering correctly. But uh, I can definitely remember something in re regards to that that wasn't really solved by the end of the Nisei Monogatari series. Um, so that's one thing here. Um, and then the other thing is, well, this relationship between Hanekawa and Senjugahara, it's really... It's it's so strange, right? And it's definitely not quite the, the type of interaction that I was thinking of. If we think back to Bake, we think back to Nisei, I always thought that uh, Hanekawa was the one who sort of kind of had the upper hand in the interactions with Hanekawa. Uh, I mean, in, in the interactions with Senjugahara. But here we can clearly see that Senjugahara is still kind of toying with Hanekawa all the same, right? So what's up with that? I don't really know. Have things really changed this much within this one week that um, their their positions are, are kind of reversed and or, or whatnot? I, I don't know. But uh, it's definitely really quite compelling, especially at the very end there when, you know, you can clearly, clearly uh, see that Senjugahara cares about um, Hanekawa very much, right? And once again, going back to some clues and hints from previous series, we know that these two do have a prior, very special relationship, I guess you could say, even before Aragi came onto the scene. Uh, but now with Aragi, th their their relation is even more complicated, especially for the fact that even though I'm, I think Senjugahara does genuinely consider Hanekawa her friend, uh, we have this um, also kind of uh, ironic situation where Hanekawa might just be Senjugahara's biggest rival here, right? Especially with the end there and, you know, directly professing how she still loves Aragi very much. And, well, Aragi obviously trusts um, Hanekawa very, very much, right? Uh, which, again, is kind of ironic considering the, um, I guess, this, the text message, you could say. Just, just that scene. So, even though he sent the text message to Senjugahara, you know, in fact, we were actually reading it out from Hanakawa's phone, right? Just like just these little details, I think, really puts a lot of dynamic into the sort of relationship that these two have. And um, I don't know, it's just I find it very interesting. Uh, and um, even even in pure um, even in pure harem uh, works, even in true harem works, this is actually a kind of dynamic that doesn't appear all that often. And when it does, I do like it very much. Uh, not all, you know, not all series that deal with uh, romance, comedy, or harem, you know, these kinds of genres uh, have the balls to have the, the, you know, the main girls actually directly professing their, their feelings and whatnot and with everybody in the know, but still kind of um, maintaining a cordial, a cordial relationship, right? So I do like this kind of dynamic and I want to see more of it, let's just say. Um, beyond that, really, I don't think there's too much I can comment on for this first episode, especially since, well, nothing really happened yet. I do have the feeling, though, um, well, first of all, I, I'm glad that Senjugahara said what I was uh, saying for, I think, even back, even just one series before in, in uh, Kuro, right, in Nekamonogatari Kuro, where I'm still kind of uh, bewildered why uh, Hanekawa is so adamant upon on you know still staying in that house right still trying to have some place called home still trying to call uh those two her parents father and mother and senor gahara just directly called her out right roasted her uh that was a good call out and i think it might have the effect of really allowing hanekawa to sort of rethink this entire situation right and i still i also kind of feel that uh indeed her house catching on fire might deep down actually be Hanekawa's fault. Uh, in, in regards to Tiger or all that, you know, it might be some level of subconscious within her that's um, that's wishing for this kind of situation, and that's how it manifested itself. Otherwise, it's too much of a coincidence, don't you guys think? So, um, at least that is my guess for now. For the rest, well, um, not really that much to, to go on, so I guess that's just it for this very first episode. Anyways, uh, that's it for this one, and I'm sorry if within the uh, within the, the video itself I was kind of like changing around the subtitles or whatnot because um, you know, the, the, the limp is actually a little bit different from what I'm used to. But uh, hopefully all that is fixed and things will go smooth sailing in the second one. Anyways, that's it for now. I will see you guys next week as well. Until then, bye bye.